people with the backwards attitude, pointing fingers, and that's a bad excuse for sitting on your ass when you can play. everyone, this is Laura. I've previously recorded a video for this project, and as I have stated in the disclaimer, I originally had set out to make this video to call out a certain Facebook page due to their failure to properly vet out any and all accusations. Now, before you accuse me of anything, here was my original intention. First of all, it was not to tell you that every single accuser is a liar. That was not what I was there to say. Sorry. I had a brain fart there. Like I said, I was telling everybody to research. It's kind of weird staring straight into this thing. So, yeah, so pardon any awkwardness. I was telling everybody to research because this certain Facebook page, y'all know what I'm talking about, and normally I don't name drop, but you may know about she, the people. Now, I'm, now, before I continue, I will take this moment to tell the author of she, the people, whose name I do not know. No. I don't wish you any harm whatsoever, and I am not here to threaten you with anything. No, not at all. All I am asking of you in the future is that you vet out everything and that you encourage all of your followers whom you have tremendous influence over to do the same, to research everything. And what do I mean by research? Don't presume that everybody is a liar, but don't just blindly believe things. Do the followers have good intentions when they say, believe the victims? Yes, no doubt. However, what they forgot to do was research. And that is all that I am asking. All right, enough of that. And this may disgust some of you viewers, and this may scare some others, and may alienate a few. And if this does, I apologize full-heartedly for any fear or sadness or fright this may cause. On the other hand, I must bring the truth out there. All right, since that time, I had tried, tried to get the truth out to she the people. I knew I would be met with some form of controversy, but did not think that my character would come under trial with things that had nothing to do with the case. One even going on to ask me if I would blame actual rape victims for their choice of attire, their choice of friends, their choice to go out at night to a club, or any of those things. Risky lifestyles. No, not at all. Nobody deserves to be victimized. And that has nothing to do with Michael Jackson. Not at all. Not at all. R. Kelly, there seems to be a slew of evidence. However, I gotta look even farther into it. But right now, the focus is on Michael Jackson. 
yeah, here I am in my lounge clothes. And no makeup on. In fact, I should be all cleaned up like the dishes all cleaned up from dinner and in bed right now. But I am here to make a new video talking about this matter because the previous one didn't have any audio. Why? Because I forgot to unmute my camera before I did so. All right. And I have a few screenshots to prove that what I'm about to tell you is true. And this is something many other fans, Michael Jackson's fans and researchers, and even people who knew him personally would tell you that the media seems to, at the very least, gloss over, if not ignore altogether. One of the most critical points is Michael Jackson's bedroom. And people who knew him, including Macaulay Culkin, have stated specifically that Michael Jackson's bedroom, oh yeah, part of my arms, I don't know what else to do with them. But... Even he said that Michael Jackson's bedroom was the size of a two-story house and had multiple beds in it. And in all essence was an apartment, so there was multiple families in there. And what Michael would do is they would play so many video games or play so many pillow fights that they would exhaust themselves and fall asleep on the bed. Oh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. And nothing sexual ever occurred at all. And Wade Robson, for a couple decades, has defended Michael Jackson as has Jimmy Safechuck, who appeared in the late 80s Pepsi commercial. And why did they suddenly turn on Michael? The answer is simple. All for the dough. Michael Jackson has tried to warn us of this kind of shit <coughs> for many years, yet very few have listened. All for the money. Or should I say here, the dough, the moolah, the what have you. Wade Robson started in with his allegations. Why? Because he wasn't taken in on his desired position at Cirque du Soleil as choreographer. And it's also surfaced that he's had a history of cheating on his partners. He cheated on Brandy Jackson, Michael's niece, with Brittany and a few other women. She even said so herself. And that may be what caused Michael Jackson and Wade Robson to fall out. Or, at the very least, caused a very huge rift in their relationship. But that is a tale for later. It's also been shown that he'd had a history of lying about other things, even from people who knew him personally. That's right, personally. Same as with people who were with Wade Robson when he was a kid, and that they would be on Michael Jackson's label, or working with him in music videos, or in the performance he was supposed to have on HBO, but he collapsed and couldn't continue on due to his health. They all have said that they never witnessed anything improper happening. Not even with Wade Robson. What does that tell you?
there are other text messages that Wade Robson, as an adult, had exchanged with Taj Jackson. and a few other people, as you will see soon. That's right, texts. He even testified as an adult at Michael Jackson's trial that nothing improper had ever occurred. So tell me, what kind of person would do this? Defend somebody who supposedly abused them for over a couple decades? a couple friggin' decades, only to turn on him and claim abuse later. Does that make any sense to you? Does it? No, doesn't to me. And why would Jimmy Safechuck keep a supposed gift from his abuser, other than maybe showing as evidence to those who believe it? But does it make any sense to keep any trinkets of someone who supposedly abused you? Would you do that? Or would you rather try to forget about your abuser and throw away the gifts? Tell me, what would you do? What would you do? Yeah, I thought so. Yes, it is true. Everyone handles things differently. Every type handles things differently, too if you know what types I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about the MBTI types. But that's beside the point. My point being is that most people would try to throw away those mementos so as to try to block it out of their minds. And yes, there is such a thing as delayed realization. In some cases, that's true. But in this case, it is not. It's all for money, clearly. And I have proof of this. Even the FBI, as dubious as they are sometimes, even they couldn't find a single shred of evidence and they were hell bent on taking him down. Yet they couldn't find a thing, not even forensic evidence. <laughs> 